Now, would it be a rubbish wood video if you didn't tip a bucket of rubbish wood on your bench? No, I wouldn't. So I'm gonna do that too. This is my rubbish wood. So these are Merbo, Merbo? Merbo decking, uh, which is off a fence. So these were the bits that were in the ground. Um, so they have copped a fair bit of moisture, fair bit of damage. Now these were literally, would have been thrown in the bin for me. Okay, they are literally rubbish. Oh, while well, I'm here, quick t-shirt sponsor shout out again. Wood's the worst that could happen. Go and check him out on Instagram. Uh, he's now also printing t-shirts with the ghetto street press. So check that out as well. So this video is not just me basically gluing small bits of timber to make this piece of art. What I wanna throw in is making a little thin strip jig. So what that lets you do is safely cut nice tiny pieces or veneers, if you will, um, off the side without getting any fingers near it. All I need to do is basically make myself a runner, a stop, a threaded insert and a bolt. I've just got to get a wing nut which will let me lock off my position. So I'll quickly whip that up um, and then I can start ripping all my pieces. <sighs> Look at all the ants. Fair dinkum. Get off. <sighs> Alrighty, so I've got my little thin piece jig all set up here. I've got a couple of these longer pieces. I can get away with not having my zero clearance put in. I'm making one of those, um, which I'll have to use for all these little pieces. I'll run these through and see how it works. Oh yeah, also to make this masterpiece. It's not pretty, but it'll do. So, lesson here is when you trace something and flip it over, it's gonna be on the wrong side. So I'm about to cut straight into the finger hole, which is meant to be over there. Anyway, I have this piece of dowel, which I can glue in there, chop it off, as a little reminder to not be a dickhead. All right, nothing like a project like this to make you pull your finger out. So I've now got a zero clearance insert, broken skateboards, that looks cool. Here's my thin strip jig, push stick. So now, I can cut all these small pieces uh, and get off more thin strips using the table saw, nice and quick, um, nice and safely. Let's do it. Okay, so it's a very simple jig. All you've got to do is set your bolt to the distance from your blade and then you just lock it off with a wing nut. So there's a threaded insert in there, a block of wood and a strip. Doesn't even need to be square because it's mainly a reference point. You can even slide it out the way once the fence is set. Lock it off, set your thin strip, and then you move the fence each time. Run it through, move the fence. Run it through, move the fence.
Okay, for the frame, I've got this lovely piece of rubbish wood, um, again, rescued. Now, this is off a house maybe 100 years old, so highly likely there's a bit of lead paint in here. So I'm going to mask up, glove up, all that good stuff. I'm going to remove most of this paint with the jointer with a very, very aggressive chip so it keeps the dust down uh, before I make any sort of sawdust. And then I'll clean myself up and continue working on. There is no lead test kits that I can find in North Queensland at the moment. So it's only a small amount. I'll just take the precautions. She'll be all good. And thank you to Fix It Fingers for giving me said precautions. There's times when you don't want to use the black CA glue because you'll get black fingerprints all over your nice white board. So, hot tip. Exciting, eh? Wait till you watch this shit dry. All right, that's my first mistake, but it's a mistake in the right direction, so. Okay, quick thank you to everybody that's put in an entry for Rubbishwood 21. Uh, thank you to all the judges and massive thank you to everyone who watches, supports all of us, uh, comments, shares and likes and all that good stuff. Um, it is really appreciated and I'm tipping all the other blokes and ladies involved in the challenge, really appreciate it as well. So thanks very much for making this uh, a whole heap of good fun. Hope you enjoy all the videos and looking forward to sharing some results with you uh, once it's all done and dusted. Alrighty, so new little segment. It's the Maker Tool shout out. So this little bevel, what are these called? Sliding bevel? Angle bevel? I don't even know the real name. Anyway, Vippen has made this uh, Vippen Envisage design. I think it's pretty cool to support other makers, buy the stuff they make, um, and get to use all of this sort of stuff in the shop. I think it's Pretty cool. So expect to be seeing a few more maker tools in the next few videos.